true indeed with you. Holy Circle Gaming. Thanks for rocking with your boy. Like always, definitely a privilege and an honor to do as such. Man, y'all see what we getting into. We back at it. Marvel Puzzle Quest continuing the series. First and foremost, off top, before we get into anything else, how was your holidays, family? Was your holidays good? Hopefully, y'all holidays went well. Hopefully, y'all had a great Christmas. Hopefully, y'all got the gifts that y'all wanted. More importantly, hopefully, y'all had a time to, like, hang out, chill with y'all family and whatnot. Uh, for me and my family, everything was really, really cool. Had a chance to hang out with the majority of the family. Everybody came through. We all converged to my mom's house. It was, very, it was a very, very good look. First time we did Christmas at my mom's house in a long, long, long time. So, um, definitely good to have it back at the home front out of my mom's house. So, that was actually pretty cool. So, we definitely had a good time out there. Uh, me and the missus and the rest of my extended family was out there hanging out and whatnot. So, and again, the kids were there too. Shout out to my, shout out to the chickadees, uh, Light Wizard, my daughter Silhouette, of course. So, shout out to them. Uh, but yeah, everything was really, really good on the home front, man. We had a very good time out for Christmas and everything. It was cool. Very, very, very good look, man. It was definitely a fun event. Um, everybody was happy, smiling, good foods. Um, if y'all want to take a look at it, uh, y'all can check out the gram on my Instagram page, uh, Nerd Boy Fresh. Y'all can see it on the bottom. Uh, check out the check out the Instagram. Y'all can see the food that I was dropping down. I'll get some uh, footage of the family in a little bit, um, so y'all can actually see what was transpiring and taking place. But it was definitely a good and a really really fun event out there, man. So appreciate everybody who came through. Much love to all my family, even the ones who weren't able to make it out. Uh, much love to all of y'all as well. So let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. Uh, Soul season is what we're jumping into right now. If you're playing, uh, you see what's upcoming. Y'all see the new new, y'all see the new Spider-Man that's out there, the little spider pig, whatever that dude is called. You see him active, he is the point of interest for this particular week, he is the new character that they dropped for this upcoming season, so... Uh, I may get a chance to break him down. We'll see as we go along. I do not have any covers of him as of yet, but we'll definitely break him down. But he has an event that's upcoming pretty soon. Got that uh, cover squirrel, squirrel girl event jumping off right now. So if you definitely want to get into your verses, you definitely want to start popping away on that. That should be ending shortly in about a day. Get your shield events in, uh, of course. Um, then you got a lot of things jumping off here. Um, you got the end of the hunt. You got the beginning of Prodigal Son, which is going to be a seven-day event leading directly into New Year's, of course. So that's going to be a really good event there. Um, you got your shield training, which we're going to actually drop into that in a little bit. I'm actually dropping into there momentarily show y'all that. And then the 12 Days of Marvel. So and just in case y'all didn't get a chance to see or take place in this, um, you got the 12 Days of Marvel that's jumping off right now. So there's one I miss. I actually need to catch up and do this one. And... Um, Got to do the, I think this one is the uh, Guardians event, and I also got to do the um, Dark Avengers event, so that's what I'm caught up right now, so it's really good in that regard, so when you're playing in this particular event, so it's pretty pertinent to really go through a good portion of them, if you at least get 8 of the days done, you'll get a Peggy Carter, you get 10 of the days done, you'll get a Bishop, and if you get all 12, you'll get that um, Tony, uh, the Tony Master, so... You can definitely get some good covers, so definitely a good cover pulls, um, definitely good covers there, especially that Peggy Carter. I still think Peggy Carter is one of the top rated four stars in the game. Maybe a couple of them could have the potential to take her place, but she's a very, 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 very top tier cover. So just to get that in your hands alone is going to be definitely worth it. So you definitely want to run that for sure. Um, but also, what you want to do as well is you definitely want to run the shield training. So if you want to get a look, um, if you have the covers for it, and if you want to get a look at how the new that new spider character works out, it'll be good here. But I'm actually going to run through this one here. So this is a little bit different, where you have three characters that um, three characters that you have to run with. One is Ghost Rider. The second one's going to be Agent Coulson, and then the third one's going to be Riri Williams, and then all three of them combined runs a runs a quest as well so all of which is pretty good um if you just run it kind of normal like i'm gonna run with ghost rider and i think it's gonna be minions in this event um so typically what i'm gonna do i'm gonna run with dr strange ghost rider just so i can kind of get them out the way pretty quick and then maybe run with somebody who could do some decent volume um maybe you know what i'll do i'll run with iceman if y'all had a chance to see the last cover oh actually you know what 
Um, I don't think I pulled him in the last cover session. I think I pulled him outside of it on the regular on my daily. He was one of the covers I got on my daily. So he's actually up kicked a little bit. So I'm actually going to run with this particular unit here. Um, basically not for anything else. I think it's going to be fairly easy to kind of cake the, the coast through this one right here. At least the first couple of rounds. And ultimately what you want to do is try to get the bonuses off of this one as well. Um, in the midst of doing your versus event, these ones shouldn't take too long to accomplish. Um, I'm going to run this one real fast. Um, I got Magia Dawn. I'm going against Spy, um, Spy and the Analyst. Um, it shouldn't take you too long to really push through these. Because at least the first couple of rounds, they're not really um, super high volume. And if you could use Doctor Strange when they're starting to drop there. Items out, you should be able to get them out the way pretty quickly. That's the reason why I ran with Dr. Strange off rip, simply because I think I could just go ahead and um, get them out the way pretty quickly. Um, only because once they start throwing their countdown tiles, they should be able to get out the way. Um, let's do this. Let's, um, let's go white out. I might as well. Why not? We'll do a thousand there. I don't want to necessarily build a snowman because I, I want them to actually throw out their um, countdown tiles so I can get them out the way quicker. I could have ran with Thanos as opposed to Doctor Strange, but I really didn't want to take any damage. So that's the reason why I ran it in this fashion because I didn't want to run like run into any type of um, damage taken with any of my characters. That's why I ran with Doctor Strange in that instance. I could have ran with Thanos and made it like maybe three or four plays quicker. Depends on what your um, thought process is. But the reason why you want to run through it, because if you need some quick isolate, if you want to get some good cover action, this is a really the way to do it. You, know, I mean, you get 250 isolate uh, per session. I'm going to run with the same identical. No, I'm not. I'm going to run with uh, somebody who has a countdown tile set up. Let's run with... Um, uh, who got countdowns? Uh, let's run with... Uh, oh, I know I do. I'll run with uh, Agent Colson, I guess. Agent Coulson and uh, Deadpool. We're on Deadpool this go round. Why not? It's not going to matter because basically everything is running through Doctor Strange in this particular instance anyway. So when you're running uh, purely through one character, this should go fairly quickly. Um, I'm going to run. I'm just going to basically run as quickly as I can until they start dropping down their uh, countdown tiles. Then from there, I should be able to get them out the way fairly quickly. But they are taking their sweet time to getting those countdown tiles out the way. I'll tell you that. There you go. That's the first one there. That's the second one. That'll get the Empress out the way. Then we'll go ahead and get that Thug out the way pretty shortly here. Take away a countdown tile. Who would probably drop one the next play if I'm not mistaken. He just did. That should get the Thug out the way. And then from there, we're just waiting for um, Tiatu um, to drop one more. In which I think he'll drop it in a play or so I'm gonna run this play here and I don't have no more red gems jeez um play I'm gonna run I'm gonna run let's run this uh purple play right here uh best play plans is not gonna matter I was just waiting for him to just drop a tiled out there you go so he's out the way so it's fairly easy to run um you get 250 iso weight per top level uh, but you need to have some pretty upgraded characters to get through the whole grid. Now, I do have an upgraded Riri Williams that I could probably run through. Um, Agent Coulson and Johnny Blaze, I don't have enough um, covers for them to kind of run the table. But I do have a pretty decent amount of covers. So I may be able to run one, maybe two particular sessions of these. Um, let's run Riri Williams and... Uh... I guess it ain't going to much matter here. Let's do, um, I guess I'll go Lockjaw in this instance. Why not? I'll go Lockjaw in this instance. I really wish I had a, one more one more red cover of Riri Williams. It will make it a little bit easier for me, but it's not too bad. Uh, they're going to swarm. Ooh, they're going to swarm. They're going to mess up everything. No, they're not. Let's do this. Let's flip you around. Get the Sentry Fighter out the way. Since the Sentry Fighter could actually do a little bit of movement on the board, uh, we're going to try to get that Sentry Fighter out the way pretty quickly here. Um, let's do... Uh, let's do this. We'll go We'll go purple right there. Get him out the way. Maybe he'll drop a tile or two. No countdown tiles yet. Let's do this combination play here. They go flamethrower. That's gonna get Pyro out the way very quickly, and then we should be able to get um, 
Should be able to get these ones out the way as well. As soon as he drops, as soon as he drops Bark and Bite, there you go. And then he's out the way. So very quickly. So that set kind of ran pretty fast. So you see how uh, quickly you can run the sets if you so happen to have those three covers. So let's say that you only have one, um, one Johnny Blaze, one Riri, and one, um, and one Agent Colson. That's fine, but you definitely want to try to run it as much as you can because this is basically like free points right here. This is free. Uh, free ISO, you get actually get a chance to get a uh, recruit token on this side, which the one of the reason why I wanted to run this is so I could actually get that recruit, uh, get that token right there, so I could actually run it in a cover pool session in a moment. But um, then you run them all together as one complete team. That's the reason why I didn't want to take damage with any of them, because I want to run them as when you run them as a complete team, then you gotta you know do a little bit of work to make sure they cook. But really. When you're running a team like this with Agent Coulson, um, Johnny Blaze, and uh, Riri Williams, really, like, ideally, what you want to do is just run every, at least the way I have it set up, because my strongest character is Riri Williams. I think she's the one that is champion out, or, yeah, I think she's champion out or close to it. Um, run everything through her. Um, get all the bonuses that I can through her pretty quickly. And then go from there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spin the board around a little bit with the uh, magnetic repulsors. I'm gonna actually spin the board around um, and maybe get some team damage cooking right there. Um, dog, there you go. And I could run magnetic repulsors again if I wanted to, but what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna go ahead and run a uh, remote control gauntlet, have them take the hit there, get him out the way. Um, not a problem at all. I could have waited a play or two, but it's okay. Calling the cavalry. We're going to maybe get 11 reds off this play right here. Then I could have ran Hellfire at any point in time, but like I said, the way my team is set up, I just run everything through Riri Williams because she's the strongest of the three and just run through her abilities. And if I got in trouble, I could always fall back and maybe use um, Johnny Blaze to get out of trouble. So, that's where you got that recruit token for the hunt. And I could actually run more. So you actually got another set here, but you gotta have enough um you gotta have enough strength on your characters to run the second set. And I don't know if I have enough strength to run the second set. I'll see. I'll see if I have enough strength to run it. Let's see. Uh yeah, I do have enough to run it again. So what I'll do, I'll maybe I'll run another set of them since I ran through it pretty quickly here. Um, I'll actually run a secondary set. I'm still going to run pretty similar to what I did the first time. I'm actually just going to run with um, Doctor Strange. I think I'm going to run with Doctor... Actually, no, let me see Let me see what I'm looking at first. Um, so, I got those three. I could actually still run through Doctor Strange just the same. I could run through Doctor Strange just the same. Uh, there you go. We'll run, we'll run that, and then... In, in this particular instance, I'll go ahead and go with somebody who does some team damage. I'll go with Sam Wilson. So I'll go with this particular setup as opposed to, um, not for anything else because um, you got Kingpin and some other ones who could actually do a little bit of damage to me. So that's the reason why I decided to go in this particular direction. Um, maybe do some damage to Kingpin. Um, let the carrier kind of stay out there um, just so he could kind of... Get the splash damage, get the retaliatory damage that we need from him when uh, Carrie starts dropping his own abilities out there. So, really, what I'm looking to do here, I'm looking to get some purples. Purples and blues is what I'm really looking for right now. If I could get some purples and blues, I'll be good, but it doesn't look like it's going to be the case. Look like they're going to spin the board to green. Yeah, look like it's going to spin the board green wise. I got a chance to get a blue here. And being in bass, which is fine. It's not going to do too much damage. Um, hopefully, it gets Kingpin out of the way. And it didn't. And it didn't get Kingpin out the way. We'll run those yellows there. Get them out the way now. Then what I'm going to do here is I am going to stun. going to stun Kamala Khan right here. Uh, we'll throw it towards the top, top left right there. Stun Kamala Khan right there. So what we're gonna do is um I should well I should have played the two play combo. I messed up that play. 
I should have had a two drop combo. I messed that completely up. Then we'll get Kamala Khan out the way right now. It's not a big deal, but I should have played that slight bit differently. The other thing about playing this too, so if you have your um if you have your support bonuses, this actually will work with support bonuses as well. So you could do a few different things with your supports. So you can get extra gems and stuff. So this will be the time where you actually want your supports to kind of come into play. Make sure you work those out. Um, what am what am I looking like here? Um, yeah, he just kind of went out the way when he dropped his um countdown tile. He actually went out the way. So actually looking pretty good so far. Not too too bad right now. Making some decent progress. And so I don't know if I have enough covers to run another secondary set. I might. But I don't think I do. Um, oh yeah, maybe I do. Maybe I have another set. I'll run the same identical team. The only difference is I will run it with um I'm gonna run with Agent Colson as opposed to not a is that a good idea? I don't think that's really a good idea. Um Yeah, that's alright. That's alright, that's alright. That's alright. You know what I'll do? I'll do I'll do something different. Um, no, actually, I'll run it. I'll run it. It's okay. I'm going to run exactly as I see it. Run it with Agent Coulson. Uh, keep Wasp right there. The only thing I'm looking for right now, I'm looking to get some purple action. If I get some action off the purple, it would be great. Oh, you know, I messed up. should have went the blue first. I messed up. I should have played the blue. I should have played this blue play first, but I messed that completely up. So, I'm going to play it now so I can make sure I get uh, enough blues to stun, um... Probably Luke Cage. If I could stun him, that would be great. If not, it's not a huge deal. But that's kind of the game plan is to stun him with two more blues. Um, get some purple ramp up so I could get that uh, team damage cooking. Um, don't have anything on the black. Uh, it's going to have to be this play, I think. Yeah, it's going to have to be that play. Um, Wasp is going down. Tactical Intuition is kind of what I didn't want to see. Because I didn't want to see any... Um, didn't want to see any protect tiles. That's what what I was kind of guarding against. Um, I know he's gonna make that play, and I am. Oh, good job. Take away. Oh, I thought I want you to take away the protect tile. Sorry. And let's go ahead and run the purple play. So I could run best late plans. That's actually not a bad idea if I wanted to run that. Um, I could actually run best late plans and move the purple and blue. Um. So I could get a little bit of action, but I think I'm going to run Bird Strike as opposed to. Want the team damage instead. Plus I have the Protect. He's going to get a little bit of action on the Protect, which is not too bad. Because um, I could do this here and get that, um, get his Protect tiles out the way. Well, maybe not on this play. I could have got it out the way on the previous play, but it's not a big deal. Let's see if we could get... Um, See if we get a little bit more action on the blue. Yep, I'll get the action on the blue right there. He's on flamethrow, which is cool. I wasn't really too, too mad at that play. It was a, actually a pretty solid one. Um, that red wing could go away. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and stun Luke Cage. Stop him really fast. And we're still moving through this pretty quickly. Not like we're going really slow. So we are making some progress on this one. Inspiration would help a little bit. Protect us up some. And that should get him out the way. Then we should be fine the rest of the way through. Shouldn't be no real issue there. So looking pretty good. Like I said, running, running through Doctor Strange to get through the basic portion of it. And then when you get to a point where you really need to do some real work. Then you could use somebody who's uh, definitely influential in this instance. Um, on this next board, you're going to see me run through Ruby Williams. Um, it doesn't really matter who I use with. But in this instance, let's go with... Uh, I'll do this. Um, Cyclops is a little bit too strong. He's a little strong. Might as well, because the meta... The meta's been catering towards yellow. Um, if y'all been paying attention to the last particular boards that I've been running right now, the meta's been a bunch of yellow, not much of anything else. So I'm going to run through the yellows a little bit. And hopefully the meta against the yellows work out. 
for to my favor a little bit so I could get some action against the team up tiles. But there's no there's not a lot of team up tiles in place right now, so I'm not too enthused about those yellows. And I didn't get no action off the blue either. So and before the last couple of boards I was getting action off the blue and the yellow. And now on this particular board it kind of flipped up a little bit where I'm not getting action off of either one. Which is fine. It's not a huge deal. I mean, we can still deal with it. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put that candy strategist out there. Don't stun him. Dang it, he did. And he got reality crush and hit me twice. Wow. Wow. Good play, by the way. That's a good play. I'm gonna have to go on Canny. Um, on Canny's gonna give me some extra blues as I need them. Uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play this, play this blue play there. Um, yeah, thinking that he wasn't gonna take the team up tiles anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and run this. Only problem that I have is, is that Doctor Strange is stunned, so now I can't do anything, which is uh, kind of messed up. But that's gonna work out. He kind of made a play pop right into position for us. So now what I could do is I could either do a call shot or I could go ahead and stun. In this instance, I think I'm. Oh, I can't stun. Um, I think I'm going to. I'm thinking about this call shot and keep it moving because he's gonna be stunned for three more turns. I'm gonna have to just do call shot. Man, let's do that. We'll just. We'll just do this play first. We'll let him get a play. We'll let him get a play. I'm looking to get two reds possibly. Um, two reds, and I could go ahead and um, I could go ahead and get him out, get um, Scarlet Witch out the way, then I could deal with Commander in a sec. Uh, let's do this. Um, we'll place it right here. We'll place that right there. I played it wrong. It's it's okay though. I played it wrong. I meant to do. Um, I meant to hit Scarlet Witch as opposed to Commander. It's gonna hex bolt. Little little punish on the play, but it was it was only because it was my fault. I should have played it better. Let's do let's do this. Let's go. Um, he's only stunned for one more. Oh, I could go magnetic. Actually, I could run that. I don't know why I didn't think about that before. I was running with Riri Williams and didn't think about going magnetic the whole way through. That was silly of me. Should have ran that the first time. I would have been done. Yeah, I would have, I would have been done if I would have known that. And let's go combine forces here. Combine forces, Cyclops will get him out the way. Um, not much damage to Riri Williams, which is the most important part of that sequence, is to make sure um, Riri Williams didn't take that much damage. Then from here, we could go ahead and play for one more um, of those um, hunt tokens as well. So. Little bit of damage to the squad, not much. I'm gonna have to use a health token for Ghost Rider. Um, Riri's fine, Agent Colson's fine. Basically, the same thing applies run everything through Riri Williams. Hopefully, there, Riri Williams don't tag ours. That's really what it comes down to. If we could kind of stay out of harm's way for the most part, I think we'll be fine. We're gonna start with a blue, uh, we'll start probably with a yellow red combination, is what I started off with. Gonna play the red there. Don't know if I was really too enthused about that red because he got a good combination play to show for it. I'm gonna play this red here. Um, Selfless intervention is gonna get my re re out the way a little bit. Um, I'm gonna still just build from this point. I'm gonna go with the blue. I mean, go with the black in this build. And they go. Oh, they she knocked two of them out the way. Wow, them greens is cooking right now for them. Um, don't really need the yellows, but I'm going to play the yellow-blue combo. I think that's the right play. I don't know if it was really what the play I wanted, but it's about as good as I was going to get in that particular instance. Um, Temporal Warp, um, may have to get that out the way too. Um, if I do this, do this, that's going to drop, drop, going to leave the purple out. Let's play this. We're going to play the reds here. Now, I could go, oh, dog, it hit me again with more greens. Jeez, them greens is cooking right now. Wow. Um, 
Let's do this. Let's get our greens cooking. If they're going to do that, let's get ours cooking right now. Um, I don't have any action on the blues like I thought I was. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this out the way so I don't get clipped. And then what I might do, I might have to do, I might have to uh, get that Riwi to use her remote gauntlets here. Do a little bit of damage there. Not really too worried about the decoy right now. That's not a big issue. But I do need to figure out what I want to do as far as like getting some blues or something. I need some, really need to play on the blues to be honest with you. Secret mission is going to clip Riri. So I'm going to need those blues there because they took away the blues. Calling the cavalry. I may have to get some red action too, but I may have to wait a play or two. I'm going to go with this particular red and play on top. Self is intervention again. Uh, let's play this green here. Oh, Tempora Warp's gonna stun. Uh, jeez. And I'm gonna take the hit. Not too bad. Could only hit Agent Colson. That's not. That's not a horrible play. If um Riri wasn't in the air, um that would have been pretty problematic a little bit. Cause I don't want to Riri to take uh, much more damage than what we got going right now. Uh, but I still don't have anything blue, anything green. I'm about to play the Temporal Warp. And they're going to get an extra play with their Riri Williams. So I'm going to have to play this play here. And I'm going to have to get their Riri out the way. And I don't know which way I want to do it. I think I'll have to go with the Team Up Tile play there. Team up tile play there. I know it's going to do some damage. It's not a huge deal. Um, I'm going to go with best laid plans here. Um, I'm going to move the... I think I'm going to move this blue and this green here. I'm going to swap those two. Yeah, I think I'm going to swap these two here. Swapping those two makes sense because I need I really need those blues more so than anything else. The greens are help, but I really more so needed those blues so I could kind of spin the board around a little bit, make sure the board has makes more sense. And then what I could do here, I could um I could go and call the cavalry in. Call the cavalry in with all that action. I could go ahead and Use remote control gauntlets here, and then we could get the decoy out the way. Then we could decoy out the way, and we should be fine there. A little bit of work, not too mad at that. A little bit of work, but we got through. We got the two covers for the hunt because we definitely want to get that in the cover pool. So we're actually making a little bit of progress here. The part that I didn't show you in this particular segment is that the part that's on the bottom. When you get to the bottom here. This is where you need that new new. You need that new Spider Ham. That's when you need that Spider Man, that Spider Ham hero card in play. If you don't have a Spider Ham hero card, um, then you don't, you won't be able to run that um, fully. So that's what I'm waiting on. So let me let y'all know what my roster's looking like right now. Roster's looking pretty decent as of late. Like I said, the only real changes that I, that I made is that Iceman got a little bit of run. So he's at 152 right now. He's at a little bit of run. Everybody else kind of stayed the same. I do have... Oh, I got to move that. Put that rock and the Groot up. Forgot to move him in this from earlier this morning. I do have um, Domino in the hole. I'm going to actually get her on. Uh, shout out to E Hero Claiming. Uh, I did see you when you said that Domino is fire. So she will get some run more sooner than later. Uh, she will be on the squad pretty shortly here. Um, I also have um, a couple of sentries to put on as well. So those will be the next couple of covers I'm going to put on um, in my quest to go ahead and fill the slot. I think it was Rudd who said, why don't I fill all the slots out and get every single character that's in the game? 
that's the game plan going forward. I know I mentioned it in the last video, but in this video, I'm going to mention it again. The game plan going forward is I'm going to try to get every single character in the game. That is the game plan. Whether I accomplish that or not, I don't know. It's A lot of times it pays to be more lucky than good, especially when it comes to the five stars. It's very hard to get five stars. And a lot of times you want your five stars to connect the five stars that you have. To make sure you get them boosted up but you definitely want to get more five star covers as you go along so that's definitely the game plan going forward but we'll see as we go along uh, but we do got some covers that we got to get into so i definitely want to break those down um you see the spider hammock friends we i don't have any covers on that so we'll talk about that on the next go round. we got eight in the taco vault in which we will talk about in a little bit um i have three in the hunt i have one in the support I have one in the Legends. I have eight, uh, five Heroic, 21 Elite, 21 Standard. Let's go ahead and pull, family. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, like always, how's y'all cover pulls been going? I did ask about y'all Christmas. How has y'all Christmas been going? What did y'all get? Did y'all get something that was unique or pretty fire that y'all happy to talk about it uh put it in the comment section you know y'all know me if y'all been paying attention i know i read and i do respond to all my comments so definitely um put it in the comment section below um if y'all got anything that was super fire for christmas whether it was a nintendo switch amongst other things i know that's been like the the gift of choice this year a lot of people was getting nintendo switches a lot of things i heard a lot about that uh, but if y'all got some things that's unique you know, one of my boys at work, he got one of these Dragon Ball Z figurines. I wish I could show it to you, but I didn't take a, sh a snapshot of it. But I would definitely show it to you at a, maybe at a later point in time if you give me a snapshot of it. But that was pretty fresh. Uh, but yeah, let me know what y'all got for like y'all Christmas and stuff. Uh, so put that down there as well. Like I said at the top, hopefully y'all cover pulls has been going pretty well. I know the, um, a lot of people have been getting pretty fire covers, pulls, ooh, a three-star in the standards that doubles? Hey, now, we'll take that. I know a lot of people have been getting good pulls across the holidays. That's been pretty typical. A lot of times in the holidays, in the holiday break, your pulls tend to be a little bit better. I don't know if they changed the algorithm or not, but if they did, it's cool. It just seems like they did. They may not have at all, but um covers has been coming out a little bit the better covers has been coming out a little bit more frequently so that's definitely not a bad thing at all just like you saw i got a three star out of the standards that's a rarity and i wasn't getting that for a long period of time but i got that in back-to-back -back sessions so it's actually pretty good to get some three stars out of the standard deck so that's really 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 good in that regard so hopefully y'all cover pulls has been going pretty well as y'all been watching cover pulls has been pretty decent pretty decent i'm not too mad at the cover pulls so far i mean could they be better they could always be better that's what anything everybody wants a fire a fire pull every single time i'm gonna keep it funky with y'all y'all not gonna get a fire pull or fire cover pull session every single time but the game plan is is to get um some pretty good covers that's going to help your squad along so you can start maybe cooking if you're a lower tier cook in the mid-tier sections and if you're mid-tier try to get into that top tier section to see how you can work with them big boys who've been starting since the beginning of this game so that's uh, that's the other objective for me is to really start cooking in the top tier levels but for me to do that i need some five stars to start cooking my way so i can make that happen or really get some good solid champion four stars in which i'm just on the break point of maybe making that happen so not too bad out of the standards. Let's look at these elites. See what we get out of these elite packs. Um, Hema Torch out of the elite pack to start off with. Two star. Another back to back with that with Wolverine. Both which is on my squad. So they'll get a little bit of run I would believe. Three star right there. Three star Rock and Groot. In which I just saw me add one on. So another Rock and Groot's not going to hurt at all. Uh, Captain America, I believe I have Captain America on right now, so uh, getting some help for him will be working out pretty well. Um, Black Widow, I was looking to maybe could put her on or Storm on, one of the two. Uh, Punisher doubles up into Hawkeye, definitely like that. Um, two, three stars for the price of one, I'll take that. Another Wolverine right there, I'm not mad at that one as well, works for the squad. 
Um, a Hawkeye, two-star Hawkeye. I may, I don't know if I have enough Hawkeye covers to put them on just yet, but if I do, I will. Uh, three-star um, um, Steve Rogers is good right there. I'm not mad at that. A little run for that Steve Rogers is good. Moonstone, like I said, uh, I know e, I'm going to put her on. I know I'm not going to say I'm not going to put her on. I'm going to put her on at some point. I'm going to put her on. I don't know if I'll put her on. She may be one of the last people I put on, but I'm going to put her on the squad. I'm not going to be hasty and say that she don't have any value whatsoever, but she does. She will get some run at some point. I'll put Moonstone on. I'm just so reluctant because she's not a good character to me. Ooh, Wolverine that doubles up. It's a squirrel girl. That works. I'm not mad at that. Uh, what else do I got? Another Hawkeye as well. Um, the elites have been cooking pretty well. I like the elites so far. The elites have been pretty good. Another human torch there. We'll move on my human torch some. Another three star right there. Daredevil. Good pull there. Like the three star Daredevil look. That's good. Another Wolverine. So I think my Wolverine is going to be moving up pretty good here. Another three star right there. Three star squirrel girl that doubles into storm. We'll take that. That works. A lot of things are doubling up right now. I'll take that. Um, Ragnarok is good as well. So Ragnarok will get a little bit of move up too. And then another Wolverine. So not bad. Not bad coming out of the elites. The elites were looking good. Heroics, as y'all well know, will give you two star, three star, and four star shots. And in this one, we're going to start off with a two-star Hawkeye. Um, on the next one, it's going to be another two-star there. Let's see what we got. Two-star um, a two-star Miss Marvel. Well, that's fine. I'm not mad at that as well. I think I have her on my squad still. Uh, Thor right there. Two-star Thor. Can we get a three-star or four-star? I'm not going to be begging for it, though. Another two-star Thor back-to-back. -back. And let's see what we got. All two stars out of the heroic, so that kind of balances out. I didn't get nothing. I didn't get no threes or fours. I thought I'd at least get one three or one four, but I'm not too mad at that. We'll pull that legend one in a little bit, and let's pull the support. Uh, gives you a shot of the one star, one star, two star, three star, and this one duplicates, so it's going to basically give me some red ISO. Um, 7,000 red ISO? Jeez, that's a lot. But we'll take it, and I'm mad. And then, um, what we got? And we got eight in the Taco Vault. So in the Taco Vault, you got uh, Moonstone. Um, no, sorry, Moon Knight, excuse me. Moon Knight, not Moonstone. Then you got Cloak and Dagger. You got the legendary token in there. Magneto, Storm, Luke Cage, Rocket and Groot, Spider-Man. Um, also, you got a couple of cracks and another crack at Storm in there. Um, a Hulk shot. A, a daredevil shot a vision shot a dakin shot and a gambit shot all in the top tier so definitely the top tier is not bad i mean ideally i would want like that legendary token that would be like the best case scenario uh but i would definitely take more top tier shots than like lower tiers and just for the people who ain't um got along to the page anytime i say anything that's top tier that means it's something that'll be ranked three star or higher um, anything that will be lower tier will be two stars or one star equivalents. Um, as you see here, I just hit a uh, Captain America, Steve Rogers. So definitely not, not mad at that particular pull. Uh, I think I still have them on my squad. Another Wolverine. Pull a lot of Wolverines as go round. Um, pull a lot of two star Wolverines. They'd wind up pulling a three star Wolverine as well. So, um, pull wise, not bad. Let's get something on top tier. That's a Magneto, two-star Magneto. I'm not mad at that at all. Two-star Magneto, but can we get a three-star or a four-star? Maybe a legendary uh, legendary uh, token would work out just fine. Let's see what we got here. Got an Ares. I haven't played with Ares in a while. That's maybe, the, maybe another two-star. Well, I got to get all the two-stars on at some point, but... I got to figure out in what sequence I'm going to put those two stars on because I definitely got to make room for them. I got enough coin to maybe add um, five, maybe six onto the line right now. But I want to definitely do that strategically. I just don't want to just pop just any six. Uh, but I definitely want to utilize them in the right way. Use them as we need them. Uh, but nothing in the top tier. Can we get one? Just one? Some ISO 8? I'm uh, not mad at that. Definitely can always use the ISO 8. 
And one more, one more. Can we get one thing in the top tier? Let's get that legendary token. Legendary token for a post-Christmas gift. Legendary token for a post-Christmas gift. Can we get that? It's got a health pack. That's cool. I'm going to definitely be able to use that health pack going forward when I get ready to get uh, to my versus event. So let's see how that works out for the squad. Got 112, uh, 112 covers in its entirety. So let's work on the two stars first. Uh, save that Magneto cover since I definitely got Magneto back on the line. Uh, pull that Wolverine in there. We got Wolverine's gonna move up a little bit too. Cause I think I got like four or five of those. Gives me a three star Wolverine. I'll take that. So the two star Wolverine is gonna move all the way up to 129. That's a big jump up. Uh, Steve Rogers is gonna move up to. Ooh, we'll take another one of those. Move up to 99. That's cool there. Human Torch is gonna move into I think 114 maybe. Um, uh, 150. 15 with the cover there anything else um captain marvel is going to move up some um 105 105 is where she's at right now so definitely not bad i make some decisions on what i'm gonna do with my two stars let's get these three stars working right now human torch first uh, i'm gonna move up to 206 steve rogers will move up to 208 it looks like 208 for Steve Rogers. Wolverine's going to move up to 217. So making some good progress there. Ragnarok's going to move up one. He'll move up to 185. It's been a while since I pulled a Ragnarok cover. So that's kind of good to give him give him a look. Um, 212 for Storm, which I haven't used Storm in a while. But I will definitely get her into the rotation sometime soon. Uh, Squirrel Girl will move up to 174. Not mad at that. Daredevil will move up one, 223. Give me that electric cover. Um, Beast will move up one as well. 188 for Beast. Not mad at that. Hawkeye will be the next one that will move up. Move up to 206. Good look there. Um, Punisher, I think, will move up two. Move up to 189, what it looks like. And then Rock and the Group moved up one earlier. Move up to 205 now. And then Cyclops, since we got him on a bonus, will move up to 211, which will give us a heroic token as well. So in the hole, I have Electra, two Electras. Wow. So I gotta give you, I gotta put Electra on as well. Now I got two Electras, so Electra's gotta go on. Domino's going on too. So we'll definitely gotta make that work out. So you'll see where these coins are gonna go momentarily. I got some, I got a bunch of ISO to work with as well, so not a big deal. Uh, but let's go ahead and pull this last couple of covers that I have sitting here. So we got three that I need to pull, what it looks like. Um, I got three. Oh, I forgot the hunt. Oh, I messed up. I didn't pull the ones for the hunt. Boo. So the hunt's basically like any two stars. It's kind of like the heroic two star, three stars, and four stars. And I believe in the hunt, um, before I go any further, I believe in the hunt, you got a bonus shot at who? Bonus shot at um, Spider-Man, the Bagman Spider-Man, and then the um, no, not the Bagman, the um, the new school Spider-Man, the Peter Parker Spider-Man, and then the Johnny Blaze um, Ghost Rider, and then you also got a couple of shots at um, at Loki as well. So you got a couple of shots at something decent in there. Hopefully, I get a three star or four star out of them. Maybe another two star there. I forgot about the forgot about the hunt token. That was my bad. Completely skipped that. Got one more for Human Torch as well. So Human Torch will move up a little bit too. Um, let's go ahead and pull this Heroic. Can we get a 3 or 4 off of this Heroic? Got a 3. We'll take the 3. 3 with the Colossus that doubles into Cyclops. Okay. Let's pull one latest. One standard. The latest is going to give me a 4 star. What 4 star is it? Bishop, okay, that's funny because I just talked about Bishop earlier, so a shot at Bishop is not bad. Let's go ahead. Let's get a five. I haven't had a five star in a while. Can we get a five star? Got another four star right there. Let's see what four star it is, though. Uh, four star Venom? Wow, really? Really? 
They must want me to put Venom on. They they heard me and they said I was so reluctant to put on Venom. And you know what they do? They give me a Venom to go back into the mix. So I'm going to have to put Venom on at some point anyway. He may be down the line too. Let's go ahead and add the Cyclops on as well. Um, he'll move up to 212. So the decision is going to have to be what do I want to do with um with the four stars. I know I'm going to put on Electra for sure. I'm going to put on Domino of course. And then I got two, um, I got one, two Colossuses, two Sentries. I got to put those two on as well, it looks like. So we got a little bit of work to do. So that's kind of how we're looking there. So let me go ahead and get ready to get up out of here, family. Um, hopefully all y'all have a good holiday season. Uh, I'll try to get one more video up before the New Year's. Uh, but yeah, just hit in the comment section. Any comments, any questions, any concerns. Um, definitely put them out there. Any games I want to, any other games I want to see me play, rock that as well. Um, I'm gonna actually maybe be on Twitch um, sometime, maybe Monday. Looks like I'm gonna be on Twitch. Um, so check out the Twitch footage. I'm gonna probably be running on a game called Onrush among some other games. If y'all want to check out that, if y'all want to see some of the other ongoings, y'all can hit me on the gram. Y'all can hit me on Twitter. Um, Nerd Boy Fresh on either one of those two fronts. Um, outside of that family, let me go ahead and get up out of here, man. Y'all know who I am. I'm Mr. True Indeed, of course. Y'all know who I represent. It's the Holy Circle Gaming. Like always, God above everything. Till the next time, family, we'll do it again soon. Salute.